Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your iPhone as well as your iPod Touch, iPad, and Android devices called LearnBots. Open up LearnBots and it's going to bring us into the list of verbs that we have here. And since the language edition we're using is French, you see the list of verbs in French. Down below if I tap on English, it's going to give me the same list of verbs but in English. So whenever I tap on a verb, so let's go ahead and tap on one, it's going to bring me into the next level. It's going to pronounce the verb for me and then give me this chart. So right here I can swipe through and I'm going to swipe through the different tenses of the verb. So I can swipe and you see each one is color coded letting you know that you're in a different tense. And whenever you switch a verb, the color codings are going to match. So whatever tense you're in here, you can notice that when you're in that same color in another verb, you're in that tense. Now if I tap on the French flag right down there below the image, it's going to flip the chart over and here are all my verbs and tenses in English. So you see I have pronouns on the left, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, and then I have my verb tense in the middle. And if I tap Sylvie. on one, it's going to pronounce it Sylvie. in French for me so I can hear how Sylvie. it's said so that way I can get used to and accustomed to saying those verbs. Tap on the flag icon again and it's going to go ahead and flip it back over to where we can view them in French. Now the button next to the flag, if I tap on that, it's going to bring me back out to my list where I can pick another verb. So I'll go ahead and pick a verb and it's going to load that verb in and then it's going to show me all of the charts I for that one. So now that we're here, what I can do is now tap on any one of these verbs and you see I it's should. going to go ahead and sound it off for me. I should do. Now if I hit the play button over here on the right hand corner below the image, what it's going to do is play a video. So do. here it's going to sound out the verb and it's going to play a nice 3D animated video based upon the verb. So I'm actually hearing the verb and I'm seeing it acted out so I can get more of a representation of what the verb is going to be like. <laughs> The plus button in the middle of the screen, if I were to tap on that, is going to allow me to add in my own verbs. So if I wanted to enter in a verb, I'll just go ahead and type in here on the keyboard, tap OK, and then it's going to bring me into this chart here where I can fill out all the verb tenses for each one of the charts. And so that way I can come back in later on and learn those different verb tenses. Go ahead and tap Done, and it's going to save that. Now if I hit this minus button, it's going to delete the verb that we just created, tap OK, and now my verbs have been deleted. Now if I come back into a verb, let's go ahead and come back into one. Do. If I tap on this question mark, what it's going to do is it's going to hide all of the tenses here in the charts, and I'm going to have to fill them out. Now if I fill it out correctly, it's going to light up with green, and if I fill it out incorrectly, it's going to line up with red. Go ahead and tap done if you're done taking the quiz. So what we'll do is we'll come back out to our list, and then I have my verbs down here below, so you see the verb that we added, and then we have our settings. Now you'll notice here that we have languages, so down below are languages. If I go ahead and tap on that, it's going to give me different translations. What this is going to do, if I wanted to do Deutsch, which is German, I'll tap there, and you see now the French tab down below and my Deutsch tab. What this is doing is just translating the list of verbs. If I actually tap on a verb here, Arrivé. it's going to give me the, still the French chart, and if I tap on the flag, the English definition. So the only thing that I'm switching there when I tap on languages is going to be my main list of verbs. So if you're trying to learn and you need to switch language here on these list of verbs, you can go ahead and do so on that. Tap on the settings again and we can come back into our languages and go ahead and switch it back to English if we'd like to. Tap on the settings, we'll come back into our main settings. And here we can view our user guide which is going to help us get familiar with LearnBots. So we can swipe through here and read all of the user guide. There are 26 different translations for LearnBots, so if you come into the App Store and go ahead and look through, you'll be able to find different translations. So you notice there are some Romanian ones, there's Spanish, and we can keep swiping through and view some of the different translations. So if you're trying to learn a specific language, you can come into the App Store, look for LearnBots, and go ahead and pick from one of their 26 different translations. So once again, this application is called LearnBots. If you like it, be sure and pick it up in the App Store today.